Star Wars Episode 16, Rise of Yuluvia, Part 4. It's mostly a desert planet, says Xena, very similar to Tatooine. Same de denizens and clans around here. Fascinating, replied Mark. We'll be landing at Moz Separath. There are Empire Stormtroopers present, so keep your wits about you. They have tentative agreements in place with many business tycoons on the planet, as the Rebel Alliance sectors. And the Luvia are starting to exert themselves. The temple is in a deserted region. We'll hire a vehicle and travel there. Soon enough, I were given clearance by Moz Separath to land, and they gave her credentials being passed through clearance. Two stormtroopers stood in the spaceport and gave him a glare, but otherwise left him alone. Disputed territories, an uneasy alliance of powers, said Xena. Obviously, replied Mark, glancing back at the stormtroopers. They continued through the port and out into the city. I fancy a drink. Do you fancy a drink, young Padawan? asked Xena. I'm barely of age in most worlds, replied Mark. Don't worry about it, she replied. They came to a tavern and entered in. It seemed like a typical tavern of such a world, an alien band playing, a host of galactic races present. Mark took a seat and Xena soon came and sat with him, pushing back a hilt. There was a gasp of a tavern, tavern just then, but the noise and chatter soon resumed. They know who you are, said Mark. Obviously, replied Xena, grinning. That's our man, said Xena, pointing to a rogue seated at the back of a tavern. We're meeting someone, queried Mark. The rogue in question was in discussions with an irate alien. Listen, tell the hut the deal will go through just fine. I'm the best smuggler on this side of the galaxy. The alien grumbled, but left. Always dealing with huts, said the man. Hand dealt with them. Said he should always have known better. But it's a solo thing, he tells me. What's a solo thing? Asked Zena, approaching the table. The man looked at her. Well, hi, Jedi lady. You look quite the catch. They're letting women into Jedi these days. Times have changed. A lot has changed, Crash, Solo. A lot has changed. So it would seem, replied Crash. Do you do that on purpose? Asked Zena, sitting down at the table with Michael's sitting. Do what? Asked Crash. Hands mannerisms. I've seen a lot of layers tapes on him. You act just like him. Is it on purpose? It's family trait, being the edge of the galaxy's finest. So you say, replied Zena. This is Mark Lightbringer, my young Padawan. Nice to meet you, kid, said Crash. Pleasure's all mine, replied Mark. So you got the money, queried Crash. You have the access to the temple we need, asked Zena. I can get you in. Getting you out, that's another thing. But you're all a great brotherhood, aren't you? Or is that a sisterhood these days? I'm sure you'll figure it out. We wish to get an unobserved to start with. I want to look around, says Zena. Won't they sense you? That's what you Jedi do, said Crash. We will be shielded. What do you say, sweetheart, said Crash. You solos deal with huts, says Zena. A family thing, is it? They make good deals, said Crash. Ham once commented that half of his living was off trading deals with the huts. How the galaxy works. How the low lives work, said Mark. Oh, he's all charm, said Crash. The Falcon is at the spaceport. What are you waiting for? Zena looked round. Nothing, she said. The exit of the tavern and R2D2 had been waiting at the door, following along as they walked through the town. What's all this fuss being made, asked Mark, about desert bikes starting to attempt to assemble? Races, said Crash. They do that kind of thing in places like this. As they walked on, they passed a funny-looking alien with wings. I'm finished with you, Watto, shouted a lady. You never pay me enough. She stormed off, leaving the alien with a space rider unmanned. I can fly it. I can win, said Mark. We don't have time for this, Mark, said Zena. Give the kid a life, said Crash. What to approached Mark? Ah, young Jedi, I know your type. Well, race it. I'll give you 10% of the winnings. 50%, said Mark. 20%, said Watto. Mark looked at the rider. It could be fun. Sure, fine. 20% will do. Excellent, replied Watto, rubbing his hands together. You do look familiar, though. We'll return to the ship first, said Crash. 
Chewie will enjoy the race. Chewbacca? queried Zena. He got lonely when Han passed. Came our way and we soon started running missions with the Millennium Falcon. The gold droid hanging around too. He's a lot of fun. C-3PO? queried Zena. Something like that, replied Crash. R2-D2 whistled a few noises. Come on, kid, we'll be back shortly. Business to take care of. Mark looked at the rider. This could be fun.